Welcome back to the channel. We've got something. <coughs> Sorry about that. We got something new. Let's get this thing out of here. Whoa. I just picked up a little dinghy, a little tender. You're probably asking why in the heck would you need that? Because I want it. And I've had this trolling motor sitting over here forever, which I don't have the remote. So I'm probably gonna sell that one. Somebody will buy it. It's a long shaft, that's what she said. Somebody will buy it and then I'll pick up a, uh, a different one. Marketplace drives me nuts. It's either you have the best experience or the worst experience or somebody thinks they have, what they have is worth $2 million or it's worth brand new prices like if you were to buy it brand new. But anyway, let's get this thing all blown up. Wait, I'm not gonna bore you with a time lapse. Let's just uh, speed it up. Done. It's she's all blown up. Let's take a tour of this magnificent little uh, tender knot. Put the old caps on. So it says 3.6 PSI. I did 3.1. Just still testing it, but it is woo, hard as a rock. Phenomenal. So now you're asking me, Dwayne, why did you buy this? And the original answer was yes, because I can and I wanted it. So when we are out mooring or camping, if we're on a mooring ball, it's not very easy to just unhook, take the dog to land to go to the bathroom or just float around. When we're at the slip, we have friends that are in other slips and instead of walking, it's more fun just to take a boat. So that's why, and it was super cheap. And if we decide to do some land camping and we go on vacation or do a road trip, super easy to load up and take with us. You can blow it up and go for a little toodle. Need a little wind here. No, you need to drop a couple hundred pounds, Blimp. Watch your language in front of the lady, punk. I doubt we'll ever use the oars, but they'll stay on there just in case. So that's that. I'm going to get her all cleaned up because she is a little dirty. I'm going to use a little wipe down. The underside is... Oh, there went the oar. Pretty good shape. Looks like it was sitting in the water a little bit. Actually, I'm not going to deflate it. I'm going to let it stay inflated overnight. That way I can verify 100% that it has no leaks whatsoever. And if we do go camping, since we never really like to go fast, because we don't like to burn the fuel and it's more wear and tear on the boat, we can actually uh, tow it. And when we go camping, we can put a bunch of crap in there and not stack up the boat. Oh, and one little fun fact, it does have a little hidden number. Um, since I'm putting a trolling motor on this, I do have to register it. So another thing registered. I will probably work on that tonight, at least get the paperwork filled out. And then it looks like I could just completely register a brand new boat through the state online. Seems kind of weird, but like last in education, but we're first in technology when it comes to registering your vessel in the state of Idaho, whatever. We finally got it registered. So it is legal since we are putting a trolling motor on, we do have to register it with the state. Um, after some deep, deep research last night, I was up majority of the night because that trolling motor will not work. I was browsing and because of that mishap, I should actually thank this dude for not selling me that trolling motor for $70. I found better options. You still have to have a battery for a, a regular trolling motor or you have to have a gas tank or unless you get a different kicker that's got the gas tank on top. Either way, you deal with gas and oil. They're both very heavy. So there was a new company that just debuted or it's it's been in development for a while. So instead of going electric that way and then having to have a car battery in there, which in the end is gonna weigh like 140 something pounds or 100 pounds. There are a lot of new electric motors out there and they're getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and better and better and better. And so I, what the heck, let's give it a shot. This company out of Seattle that is selling them, uh, Blue Marine, this motor is the Elite, I believe, or Elite. I think it's Elite. Shame on me for not knowing. This thing only weighs 15 pounds, pretty much the same runtime, thrust, power everything as one of those. We're waiting for that. That will show up this week. But right now, it's time to name the tender. It's uh, and if I don't like the color and I don't like the style of the font, I'll change it. Tender nuts. We're calling her tender nuts with the little D's on top. So it's D's tender nuts. D's nuts. And D's tender nuts does have a sack down there that we can roll it up and we can store D's tender nuts in a sack. D's tender knot set. Ha! Got he. Ha! I left the D's off of it and I'm not sold on the way this looks either. 
Tell me what you think. Drop a comment. You like it, do not like it. We can always change it. So the motor will be here uh, right now, actually. There it is. Woo, fresh, still in the box. Let's get this bad boy opened up and not cut ourselves. All right. <clears throat> oh. ah, it's a box inside of a box. From Blue Marine in Seattle. Uh, let me get this out of the way right off the bat. This is not a paid advertisement, paid plug. Not sponsoring the product, it's just a new product I saw. And we're gonna give it, it a true, real test. So if I hate it, I'll tell you about it. Yeah, even the dog's excited. And instructions, yeah, we don't need instructions. Ooh, but we got a sticker. If you know me, I love stickers. I like stickers. All right, so that box doesn't have anything. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yes, we are seeing this both for the same time. Come out of there. Oh my lord. There's nothing to it. It's got, it's got a little weight to it, not much. I would say about the 15 to 17 pound range. Totally manageable. Totally manageable. Way easier than uh, a regular old fashioned trolling motor. I like it. Oh, and it does come with a fancy little bag. So let's. Just for now, let's put that in there. Not break the prop already. Finish looking at what else is in the box. Sweet. The fancy little carrying case for it. Try to prop you up here. Good, I did not think, honestly, I didn't think it was actually gonna come with the case. Um, so that's a bonus. Bonus for me. This is the transom mount. Accessories inside. Who doesn't like accessories? That is the lanyard, yord, with an Allen key. So this is your safety lanyard, this little magnetic safety switch. So if you fall out of the boat, it turns the motor off. We'll put that back in there for now. More accessories inside. I'm guessing this is probably the charger. Well, I'll guess, but I bet it is. Yep. And this would be the charger, two pronger. Pretty big, but it is charging a 25 volt lithium battery. I guess it's expected. Right. Anything else hidden underneath these uh, goodie boxes? That's it. Box is empty. Bag, transom mount, accessories, manual, trolley motor. Let's uh, get this thing installed. It's on. I tried my best to get it as centered as possible. It millimeters off, not bad. This would be your, I guess your tilt control. So you can yank this pin out, pull it up a little bit. And if you wanted your resting spot to be there, that's as low as it would go. Pretty similar to a, just a regular outboard motor. Pull up, this locks it down. So this keeps it locked. <clears throat> so it doesn't come up, but you can also unlock the, uh, the doohickey there and then it's free flowing all the time until it's in the total up position, then you have to release it. Nice. I like it. Let's try that. Locked. Up. Oh, okay. So there is another permanent tilt. And that's fully, fully up. Pretty, pretty darn easy and simple. Nice. So since we are, oops, didn't need to do that. 
Uh, since we're currently sitting on the ground, we'll keep it angled there and we'll put the motor on like that. Let me grab the motor. Apparently this is supposed to go up. It's supposed to slide right on. Voila. That was super easy. So as you can see, it's obviously tilted up. It'll be fully down when it's in the water. Oh, looks cool. Spins nice and easy. Forward reverse. This handle is supposed to pull out too. We'll play with that once we get it on the water. One of the favorite parts. You know, I'm not even reading the instructions yet. Let's see if I learned how to turn it on. So we're definitely gonna need charging. We're at 22%, zero kilowatts. So go forward. Oh, it is beeping at me because I don't have the kill switch in. Without reading the instructions, the Allen key here. On the Allen key that they did provide, I believe once I read the instructions, so this, if you can see, it might be dark. There is a channel here. I didn't read the instructions yet. I'm just guessing. Um, this Allen key, you can undo this. So this can actually slide up and down farther, depending how deep you need the prop in the water, I think. Kill switch, magnetic. I can see that being pulled out pretty, pretty easy. It's not a whole lot of resistance there. Minor, minute details. All right, let's fire her up. Sorry, I had the Allen key in my mouth. Forward. Using zero kilowatts. Oh, yeah. Nine. I'm wondering because... See, this is where I have to read the instructions. I'm trying to go full bore, but I'm wondering because of the battery being so low, it's not going to, it's conserving for you. It's uh, kind of telling you what, what is best for you. Kind of like the government. Reverse. So it's got 21% battery left. Is that reset? No. So what other display stuff we got? All right, just 21%. I guess it'll help when I read the instructions to tell me if it shows more data. That's pretty cool. I can't wait to try it out. Pretty freaking sweet. Pretty freaking sweet. It looks good. I will do a more in-depth um, when we hit the water with this thing in a day or two. It's supposed to be super nice this weekend. Fingers crossed that the weather guessers are correct. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. You'll have to come back to see the actual water test. Uh, we'll try to get that pumped out here about this time next week. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, drop a comment. Ask a question. I'll answer it. See you real soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>